So the UK government have recently made changes to the standard visitor visa saying that you cannot come into the UK with a standard visitor visa to get a job, to get a certificate of sponsorship or to get an interview. When I heard this, I was like, hmm, hmm, how possible is this going to be? They said in their words that these new changes would be implemented starting spring of next year, which could be March, May or April. And most of you have been leaving me several comments saying, Clara, have you heard of the latest update to the standard visa? visa? Have you heard of this? Have you heard of that? Have you heard of that? Guys, be calm. Be very calm. One thing I know for a fact is that you don't just jump into something just because it's a new update. Have you sought to properly plan if it's something that may work for you? Guys, you see those new changes that are trying to implement on the standard visa visa? saying people can come now with it and get a job. I really do not think it's going to be as that easy as it has been written. I really do not think it's going to be that easy as it has been said. You hear some people saying that, oh, it's a good one. It's a good news. Come in. When you come in, it's so easy for you to just walk to employer, walk to a company just like that introduce yourself to them asking them for COS asking them for job who are you deceiving that is the truth even those who are already in the UK you can't just walk to a company and ask if they have any current vacancy you can't just go into any should I say care homes shop and ask if there's any work available and even if you try if you've attempted which I, I have done in the past. And when I sit here and talk, I talk from experiences. Most often time, you would be referred back online to check if there is any current vacancy on the portal. So why would you want to waste your time, waste your efforts, come into the UK, work into a company, and later be referred back online, which you could as well do at the comfort of your home. One thing I believe so well and that has worked for me and still working for me is that life needs to be structured. You need to plan everything properly. Even though sometimes things may not go as we plan, but try your best and plan. Research properly before you go into anything at all in life. If not the standard visa, visa anything at all in life. If not, without a proper plan and without a proper structure, you would only regret bitterly. Now, talking about the standard visa visa, we all know how expensive it is. Getting a visit visa, booking your flight, your accommodation, showing proof of fund, the whole money, amount of money that goes into preparing just to come into the UK as a visa. Now, think of the money you'd use, including your proof of fund you wish showed, and you prepare, you get a visa, you come into the UK and when you come, you discover all you were told about the standard visitor visa or all you read about the standard visitor visa with its new changes that has now been added is not as you thought. How would you feel? What regret would you had? Your money wasted? And also note, you can't stay more than six months with that standard visitor visa. So let's say in six months time, you go from door post to door post, company to company, care homes to care homes, factory to factory, in person, and you still did not successfully get a job. Guess what? You'd be deported back home. You'd be thrown back home. You'd be asked to leave the country. So me, I would say another thing. Coming here with a standard visitor visa does not guarantee you in getting a job as soon as possible or in six months time before your visa expires. It doesn't in any way. Don't be deceived. I know people don't like this about me, but one thing is that I'm going to say the truth. No matter how bitter it is, I keep saying the truth. So this video is actually for those my audiences that has been sending me several emails and messages asking me about this. I have not come here to film anything related about the standard visitor visa because i was trying to do a proper research on it before i even dream of turning on my camera to talk about it and from my research it doesn't go down well with me i don't think it's a very good pathway a good route i want to encourage to my audiences to my subscribers to take 
knowing fully well how expensive the process may be and knowing that it's not easy to get money just like that especially in our african countries so if you can stay back at home searching for jobs online putting in everything hard work dedication persistency consistency searching for that job online why not why not keep going with that now coming to the uk spending a lot of money into the standard visitor visa the relocation i don't even want to call it relocation because it doesn't guarantee you're going to get a job in six months the whole preparation the plans the flight ticket money and everything and coming here and in six months time no job for you you have to go back home and go back to square one and start searching again for job online i remembered when canada visit visa stuff actually opened it was everywhere all over social media youtube everywhere you turn you see it people will say oh come you can switch work permit i'm not saying it's not possible please cut me right however i am saying it's not as easy as people talk i know people a lot of people some related to me who went to canada with the visit visa with the intention to switch but they didn't find it easy most of them became asylum seeker sleeping on the streets so for this one that the uk has announced before you jump into it please my dear brother and sister think very well think twice ensure you plan properly ensure you plan properly and also with this you can't even come with your family even with the standard visitor visa you can come with your family and if god being on your side you successfully get a job okay maybe when you come you successfully get the company that wants to sponsor you did you know you have to go back to your country let's say you are in nigeria and you come into the uk with the standard visitor visa you get a company who say okay we can give you a job we want to sponsor you which may not be the case i know these people here yeah, they refer you online to go and check if they even give it to you you need to go back yes you need to go back home to go and apply for the world visa if that visa is even going to be approved before you come back to the uk you see it doesn't weigh water it doesn't hold any water for me you see i've weighed it so much i've weighed the option of standard visa visa or keep applying for jobs while you are at home from overseas and i could tell you for a fact you see this all standard visa visa changes they're trying to implement <laughs> no i'm not in for it i'm not going to encourage it but if you want to do it then feel free do it but i know fully well it's not for everyone and it's not as easy as they say it may work for some people but come on how many people have that money to even put into visit visa how many people ask yourself that you see eh? <laughs> live eh you need to plan properly you need to plan i repeat again before you jump into anything in this world so guys thank you so much for tuning in this is just my two cents i want to drop about this please like this video share with others it could be an eye opener for everyone okay let them watch this video and contemplate and think twice before they go into this old standard visitor visa whatever whatever that all right thank you so much bye bye